Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to Zen Labs. This video, I'm gonna talk about some new updates coming from the Deutsche Bank. They officially joined Project Guardian. They're gonna be using some technology I'll share at the end of this video. We're gonna first talk about Project Guardian. So Project Guardian, if you're not familiar, it's an initiative led by the Monetary Authority of Singapore. And uh, they're bringing multiple industries together to explore pilots uh, on how tokenization and interoperable networks could basically establish the future financial infrastructure. So this is big, big thing coming. What else is important about this uh, Project Guardian is basically a, a multi-year project that is also uh, involving global policymakers, including the United Kingdom, uh, Switzerland, Japan, more. And this morning, the Deutsche Bank, a huge financial uh, institution bank out of Germany, uh, announced that they're gonna be joining Project Guardian. So who else is involved in Project Guardian? We got BNY Mellon, we have Citibank, we have DBS. You guys are familiar with Franklin Templeton, right? They have the ETF with Bitcoin. Uh, JP Morgan, JP Morgan also uses the technology I'm gonna mention, which is uh, Axler. So Deutsche Bank, a lot of these projects are using Axler. What is unique about this, oh, let me finish a couple more partners. So UBS, Standard Chartered, huge, huge banks are all part of this. There's like 15 big banks part of this uh, Project Guardian. And um, what we do know about Project Guardian is they're working with a project called Axler. And we know that Stellar is working with them with their new smart contract, Sorovin. We know Ripple is working with them, uh, collaborative efforts for interoperable XRPL. We also know um, it's connected to Ethereum. They have one of the most successful uh, Ethereum bridges around. So I'm gonna continue talking about this and uh, stay tuned and I hope you guys want to nurture the tokenized assets ecosystem. Through Project Guardian, MAS and the financial industry are laying the structures and protocols that will help harness the benefits of tokenized assets and DeFi while managing their risks. One, we're building interoperable networks that enable digital assets to be bought and sold across multiple trading venues. Two, we're using regulated financial institutions as trust anchors to screen, verify, and issue credentials to entities that wish to participate in these networks. Three, we are creating a common pool of digital assets that can be exchanged directly without intermediaries. And four, we are establishing institutional grade security and compliance measures within DeFi protocols to mitigate against market manipulation and operational risks. Project Guardian's first pilot has demonstrated the potential for reducing risks in executing trades. DBS Bank, JP Morgan, and SBI Digital Assets Holdings conducted transactions in tokenized foreign exchange and government bonds. If we scale this, it means freeing up costs that are involved in executing trades through clearing and settlement intermediaries and managing bilateral counterparty trading relationships. Project Guardian has launched two new industry pilots to broaden the set of tokenized assets in play. The first, led by Standard Chartered Bank, is about issuing tokens linked to trade finance. The second pilot, by HSBC and UOB, involves tokenizing wealth management products. These projects strive to increase efficiency in the product value chains, lower issuance and servicing costs, and improve transparency and accessibility. We believe Project Guardian can help pave the way for the next evolution of financial markets in Singapore. We want to create a future where any asset can be fractionalized and monetized, where no market is too big to access, where trading costs are drastically reduced, and trust can be established with greater transparency and better accountability. So we invite everyone to join us on this exciting journey of tokenization. So let's take things even deeper. I'm going to show you all the proof of what's happening with the Monetary Authority of Singapore. So we have Project Guardian, and the key focus areas are open and interoperable networks, trust anchors, asset tokenization, and institutional-grade financial protocols. And just as I mentioned in the live clip, you can see just how big uh, some th – these are the policymaker groups it's right here. So you have the UK, you have Japan. Oh, the IMF. International Monetary Fund. We're talking about the biggest players in the world right here, the Bank of France, Swiss Financial Market Supervisory Authority. 
Monetary Authority of Singapore, of course. And he, these are some of the members of the group. Like I mentioned earlier, the biggest players in the world. You can see them all here. But what's interesting is it connects to a lot of projects that we've been researching and use a lot of the similar technology uh, because Axler is Cosmos based and they're also connected to Ripple. So you can see February 28th, Ripple Axler Foundation announced a partnership enhancing XRPL across blockchains. They're going to help XRPL tokens become interoperable. So Ripple partnered with Axler Foundation to enhance the interoperability of its XRP ledger across different blockchains boosting security and efficiency so i'll put this in the description below but axler foundation brings interoperability to xrp and allows it to move across 55 connected blockchains we also have the fact that axler is connected and working with stellar and their new smart contract platform sorobin so axler is planning to uh, deliver secure cross-chain communication with stellar as well for web3 just yesterday, what inspired me to make the video, uh, the Deutsche Bank, a huge financial giant in Germany, joins Project Guardian to explore asset tokenization applications. And what they did was they selected Axler as one of their technologies. So you can see here that the Deutsche Bank selects Axler developer as partner in joining Project Guardian in Singapore. So this is massive. Uh, Deutsche is one of the biggest German banks around, I believe. So if you look right here, uh, this data comes from 2020 to 2021, that Deutsche Bank is the largest bank in Germany, totaling over 1.3 trillion euros in assets. See right here, a uh, huge, huge company, and they're basically going to be working with Axler as well. So there is a giant, uh, basically... People, a whole group of elite banks that are working behind the scenes as they are telling the propaganda machines, crypto is dead, blockchain does not have a future. Look what they're doing behind the scenes. So let me read uh, some quotes from this press release that just came out yesterday, May 14th, from the head of security services of for Asia Pacific and the Middle East and global head of sales. He says, we are committed to being a leader in driving development and adoption of digital assets in Singapore and Asia Pacific. Contributing to, Pro contributing to Project Guardian will bolster our efforts to help shape the new frontier of asset servicing and strongly position us to contribute to the industry progress, not only anticipate our clients' needs, but exceed their expectations. This is coming from the Deutsche Bank, like I just mentioned, biggest bank by asset holdings in Germany. And there are so many of these huge players. So if we look, you know, we just talked about, let's talk about JP Morgan on the list. So JP Morgan is also using Axler. JP Morgan and Apollo deliver Project Guardian with help from Axler and others. They have a next generation proof of concept that uses cross-chain infrastructure to advance the $5.5 trillion portfolio management of JP Morgan. You see right here that JP Morgan has been connected to Axler. So Axler has collaborated with Onyx by JP Morgan, and they've had a successful experiment on how smart contracts can be used to manage client portfolios at scale. Proof of concept, blockchain technology was used to execute trades and enable automated po portfolio management of tokenized financial assets, aka real world assets or RWAs, the popular term. We've been hearing time and time again that tokenization is going to be massive. You can see that they have a whole policymaker group, a global initiative policymaker group. So these type of things take time. It takes time. You have to create a global policy framework, and you see this actually happening. So I know I've shared connections, you know, because you see here also the Ripple connections go deep. Here's one standard charter we know is connected and invested and partners with Ripple. So Ripple, standard, chartered. You can see that Ripple is super connected to everything happening here.
You can see at one time there was a press release that Standard Charter completes a strategic investment in Ripple. This is back in 2016. So Ripple is definitely connected. But more importantly, what I want to show with you also is that Axler is actually its own network. They have their own to their own token too. I'm going to read this post for you guys real quick. So the Deutsche Bank announced participation in the monetary authority of Singapore's Project Guardian testing compliant asset tokenization applications. Institutions participating in Guardian have picked Axler for interoperability two years in a row. Institutions rely on a diverse set of blockchain solutions, even as they seek connections to various public chains. Without blockchain interoperability on an open stack, fragmentation will undo the promise of liquidity plus access that should come with real-world assets. Axler is a blockchain that connects blockchains. The only interoperable solution delivering customization across the stack with no vendor lock-ins and full monetary, monitoring transparent end-to-end cross-chain path. So this is uh, pretty big. Let's look at Axler price real quick. Let's see the token itself. So I know I show, showed you guys there's connections with Ripple, there's connection with Stellar, Axler is definitely connected with ETH. Now we see that Axler actually has its own blockchain, their own token, AXL. Uh, it's available on Binance. It's available also on Coinbase, Osmosis. So it is available on Osmosis, Kraken, basically all the big exchanges. It's currently one dollar. I don't know enough about this token. Uh, this is definitely not financial advice. I'm just showing you the whole, uh, the whole picture of what's being built here. And really, you guys know me. I've been talking about IBC is the future for a long time now. I think since 2021, I've been hammering IBC, IBC, IBC. Now I think people are going to start to understand why, because Axler is using IBC. This is the cross-chain communication uh, protocol that all these big banks that we read about earlier are experimenting with, that they're piloting right now. As you see, the reason they're choosing Axler is because you know they're one of the most successful IBC uh, projects around. Axler, uh, basically, this person says Axler is the herald of IBC. So it just proves that uh, we are in, we are researching the right technology, and you know IBC definitely has a bright future. Remember, it's only a few years old; it just got released in 2021. Let's look at the map of zones real quick. So if I pull up the map of zones, you can see all the IBC sovereign cosmos blockchains that are connected via IBC. You could see Axler is actually ranked number five right now. So Axler is part of the cosmos ecosystem and is connected to almost every single chain, including Corium, Smosis, more. So you could hold, I believe you could pro probably even stake Axler, but you could hold Axler in a cosmos wallet. You could get it in, at, you could get the token on Osmosis. And uh, this is showing you that institutions are coming to IBC. And once you're basically connected to IBC, you could freely be connected to everything else. And I believe this is going to be the future of Web3. Uh, I have a video I'm going to come out with soon, also just showing that uh, Cardano, Cardano is experimenting with adding IBC. So all the players, we got Ethereum IBC, Solana IBC. We know XRP just released IBC via Corium. Now Cardano is getting IBC. Yeah, we know that the biggest banks in the world and even one of the policymakers of this Project Guardian is the IMF is experimenting with IBC tokenization. You know, I know a lot of people feel, you know, drained and tired. Uh, people are expecting all coin season to already happen. But I'm choosing to persevere because, you know, I'm not going to let the media shake me out because I could go into their files and paperwork and see what they're planning in the future. And the future is they're planning a new financial system. And we are basically the pioneers on the frontier. And um, yeah, everybody, this is my video. Remember, this is not financial advice. It's just some research I've been putting together. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.